Okay, let's talk about the new manual flaming plate. First of all, a disclaimer in effect 2, while it says when equipping a legendary sword weapon, it actually means a legendary plate. Now, if you look at the effect 1, if you have a main internal power of young type, you get 120% damage. If you have a legendary plate equipped, you also get 120% damage. These are multiplicative. As such, this weapon has a damage multiplier or damage increase rather of 384%. So a times 4.84 modifier. In theory, this is really good. A really high modifier. Fearless Blade has 250% damage increase. This has 384. So it should be superior to Fearless Blade, right? The issue is, on most plate builds, you want to run Shuen Yuen. Shuen Yuen provides a lot of damage. I've done a video on why you want to wear this weapon on almost any build. And as such, the manual stating that you need a plate is actually bad. If it truly was like what Effect 2 said, that you need a legendary sword, this manual would be way better. Secondly, you have to use a main internal of Yang type. There are not that many good ones, especially on the new highest difficulty. Previously, you could use Omnipotent Demon Sealing move. However, due to all enemies having Innate Reflect now, this manual is no longer that good. You will simply die to Reflect at some point, so you'd want to run either Reflect Immunity with 13 Sutras, or Healing, or Infinity. The other alternatives for Yang are Tsunami Manual, which is not good. The Virokana, which is not that good, as you can simply get the immunities via traits. The Holy Fire Divine Skill, which is a new manual, which is acceptable, 25% damage. However, it runs into the same issue as the Omnipotent manual. It does not have any form of sustain against Reflect. Both Holy Fire and Omnipotent increase your damage and reduce damage taken, in this case, by enemies with a Yin type. But there's, that simply does not help against Reflect. Another alternative is the Sun Burning Sky technique. Same issue, while it provides some nice effects, especially with the Imperial Seal. However, the Imperial Seal also got nerfed on the highest difficulty. This is simply not worth running. Then you have the newest manual as well from the Cold Skin Gang, the Tyrant Play technique, which provides scaling damage. However, this manual ramps way too slowly. On the first hit, you get 0% damage. On the second, 10%. In most cases, fights end before the fourth or fifth hit. So you get at most like 30 or 40% damage on your very last hit. That is not worth it. Especially now, enemies have damage reduction depending on the health. The more health they have, the more damage reduction they gain. And as such, a slowly scaling effect does not truly help. So in practice, you do not want to equip a legendary Yang the power. And you don't want to use a legendary plate as a weapon. So, in practice, this weapon actually has 0% increased damage, as Peerless Blade always has 250%. And that's kind of the issue with this current manual and why I deem it not worthy running. It's even worse than something like Demonic Circle Blade, which gets 25% damage, whereas this gets 0%. If they were to change the effect to, to actually need a legendary sword, but like I said, you can check it in the Chinese version. It says Dao. I also tested it. It needs a legendary plate. But if they were to change it to sword, then this would be the second best manual on plate. And on lower difficulties where you can actually run a young power such as Omnipotent or the Holy Fire skill, 
this would be the best plate manual you could get. Now, obviously, if you don't want to min-max as much and equip a Xuan Yun, this manual gets a lot better. However, on the highest difficulty, you typically want to min-max. So those are my thoughts. Tell me what you think, and see ya.